In studio this morning, Bill Dowling with us. Bill, welcome here. Thank you. We're excited to talk about uh, the Back 40 Folk Festival. Back after two years, how does it feel? Oh, it's exciting. We're just, yeah, we're... You know, it's it's kind of crazy. It's kind of hard because you haven't done it for a couple of years. So it feels really kind of like, oh, I forgot how to do this. Oh, yeah, we forgot that. But it's coming together and uh, everybody's working hard to make it happen. And you mentioned that the, the musicians are kind of chomping at the bit to get oh, back yeah. at it. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine a musician not wanting to, right? Like at this point, it, they're just, they, you know, giddy. I think, you know, some have, some have been playing uh, as much as possible, but there's a lot that just simply haven't been. So, you know, I know myself, I've hardly played at all in, what, three years, so I'm looking forward to it. And on the uh, Back 40 Folk Fest website, it says, Keep Homemade Music Alive. Can yeah. you talk about what that means for the uh, for the Back 40? Well, the Back 40 is, uh, we're all volunteers, uh, many of us are musicians, and the idea, we understand the importance of having a local audience and encouraging local talent and encouraging local musicians to get up and play their songs or other people's songs and uh, and have fun playing music and giving the community an opportunity to, to come and listen to music, you know, live music. There's just nothing like it, right? You can do all the online things you want and they're all great and fine, especially, you know, when you have to and there's no option, but there's just nothing quite like being in the same room or in the same park as other people listening to the same music. It's just, uh, it's just a wonderful feeling. And we're going to see a lot of these whole these, these local musicians. You mentioned Brian Jacobs going to be yep. there. Uh, JP LePage, you're taking the stage. Yep. It's going to be quite Page the display. It's of... going to be there, right? And then we've got uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of other people. J- uh, Jimmy, uh, Chuck, and Jimmy, uh, you know, from Brandon, um, uh, Marcel, Des- Marcel Desolés from from Winnipeg. Mason Wesolowski is going to be there. Uh, yeah, we're just really really pleased and then we got some great manitoba uh, musicians headlining we've got leaf rapids and we've got dirty catfish brass band so wahoo it's gonna be good yeah yeah. and so the it looks like sunshine on sunday hopefully that sticks around what does somebody need to bring to the back 40 folk festival what do you need to bring uh i would say uh you might want to bring a lawn chair and a tarp because i'm not sure it's probably gonna be a little on the soggy side it is the morton bowl so yeah it might be good to sort of bring a lawn chair um uh you know maybe a sweater Uh, i don't know it's looking like it's gonna be great weather we're hoping touch wood (laughs) um yeah you know sunscreen and the whole thing you know uh there's gonna be some food vendors there it's been a challenge this year, but but we have got some great food vendors there. We've got a kids' tent uh, ready to ready to roll, so uh, we're really looking forward to uh, to the day and and uh, having a lot of fun together. And if you're looking to get tickets at the door, you also got to bring cash. Yes, cash <laughs> at the door, please. Sorry, we don't have any of the fancy machine things. Uh, and uh, what else? Yeah, there are twenty bucks uh, prior to that uh, online. And also at the Co-op Gas Bars in Morden and Winkler. And then 25 at the door. Yes, that's right. Perfect, Bill. Thanks so much for uh, coming in Talking Back 40 with us. And uh, best of luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on.